Hello everyone, this is Anne, the little French in Big Texas. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about the common mistakes people do in dry canning. And don't worry, I've made them all. So just sharing my experience here on what can go wrong. And very often, if it goes wrong, it's just because you rushed it through, like I do. I've got other things to do. I've got kids yelling, uh, dogs wanting to get out and you do many things at the same time and at the, the end there's one thing you don't do right or you forget to do and that's what comes out so just a few steps to be very careful in the dry canning process i would say the first one is when you have your jar and you wash it because you want to wash it you want the jar to be clean whether it's in the soap water in the sink or actually i prefer to do it in the dishwasher because my dishwasher dries fully if you leave it overnight, it completely dry when you get it out. But if you do it in the sink and you have to wait and dry it, if you don't wait long enough or if you don't dry it, dry it well, there's going to be some water residue on the jar. And that is one thing that can go wrong. I mean, it's not completely wrong, but it doesn't turn out the way you want it to turn out. And I'm going to show you an example here of a jar. This is flour, right? And that's a jar I did not dry well. And you still had some water drops here. And as you can see, when it dried in the oven, it kind of glued together. So it's not a bad jar. I mean, I can still use it, but it's not what it should be. And I have another example here where you clearly see the line of water that was left in the jar. So just be careful here. You want to really dry your jar thoroughly first mistake I've done, done, now I know. Other one is at the end of the process, the lid does not pop and it is not sealed. What could you have done wrong? So it happened to me, so I kind of analyzed the process throughout and I think there, are, there could be two main reasons here. The first one is when you have the jar, you need to make sure that, okay, this is just a dry fruit. You wanna make sure you clean it here with a wet rug very thoroughly as well. You don't want any residue left here on the ring because it's gonna, it's just gonna stay here and you won't get the seal. So that's the first thing here. Make sure you really clean it well with a wet uh, towel. Just clean it. So that's the first mistake. If you don't do it well, you do it too quick or you, you use the same one for all your 20 jars. The last one, there's a chance the towel is not clean anymore. So that's the first mistake. The second one that I've done is you want to warm up these leads, warm them up, but not boil them. And of course I did it. I mean, I left it on the stove and forgot it and it boiled. And when it boils, it actually destroys the seal here. So you pretty much can discard the lid. It won't seal anymore. Or you can still use it for other things. Uh, if you want to do, I've got a good uh, honey, uh, onion, garlic, <laughs> and syrup here. That's fine. I mean, you just want to close it, but not to seal jars. So just be very careful when you got it on the stove. Do not boil it. And that hopefully should do it. So I don't know if you guys had other experience, things that went wrong. If you can share what you did wrong, what you learned from your mistake. I found it very useful to... Uh, Learn what other people have done, the good and the bad, because you can learn a lot from the mistakes of others. So here, my lessons learned, make sure the jars are very dry. Make sure you really clean the lid of the jar with a wet rag, wet towel. And make sure you do not boil the lid and don't destroy that seal. And I think once you do all these steps properly, there is no reason why it would not work and thinking about it another mistake i probably did was overstack jars in that oven putting too many of them last time i did it i put close to 15 jars it was really packed three rows and that was probably way too much uh, for the oven to handle so i would uh, limit it maybe two rows and not three especially given we have a double oven here, so I could have run the two and I just stacked it up in one. That was probably not the greatest idea. So another 
thing to learn i will not do it again i prefer to do maybe two batches and instead of being 15 um, i can do 10 and 10 and do a few more and run it at additional time but yeah take more time to do it right <laughs> so i hope you found this useful and you're gonna dry can your jars because now is the time to get prepared guys whatever you can find in the store at a decent price just get it at this point and try to preserve it and if it's flour sugar rice pasta all the dry things even cereals um, even some of the cookies you could uh, you could dry can in the oven so if you haven't watched my previous video you can uh, look at it i will put the link in the description uh, below uh, i had most of my jars that popped but <laughs> I did do mistakes in the way. So <laughs> thank you all for watching.